recently purchased this brow kit and I've low-key been nervous about trying it. I think I'm gonna try it today. Coverage gray, last two weeks. Last two weeks, that's it? <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see what this all entails. There is a little mixing bowl. Oh my God, I'm so nervous to do this. You have to use all of it or what? Let's read and find out. Okay, I low-key don't wanna do this. <laughs> I don't know y'all I'm thinking I'm not gonna do it I don't know for some reason I'm feeling a little bit skeptical so I think I'm not gonna do it listening to my inner self I may even return this I don't know well for one it's only good for two weeks it's $15 for two weeks and then what if I mess up I don't know I'm just rethinking the whole thing comment below and let me know if any of you all have done the brow tint and if so what did you think about it? Like, let me know. I ended up using my shower gel. This was a shower gel that James had in his shower. Um, I think like when I came, one of my times to visit, I like needed some shower gel really quick. And we were at this, I think the grocery store because I didn't have any with me. And I picked this up, but this is actually a good shower gel. Like it's really good. I liked it. I need to get some of the Dr. Teal's bubble bath stuff because I just have the Epsom salt. I'm going to go in here and make my bed up. I haven't made my bed up yet. I have on this cute little kimono robe that was gifted to me from Ken. Ken is part of our awesome threesome group. Uh, yeah, and by the way, the phone conversation that we had, oh my God, it was so nice. We had so much fun. We talked for almost two hours, or maybe it was two hours. I don't know, but it was nice. It was really nice to catch up with my San Antonio crew. I miss them so much. Yeah. I picked this up when I was out and about yesterday. It is a facial toner. I got it at TJ Maxx. Let's see how we like it. I hate that these are so tiny. I cannot believe I did not read to realize that these were so tiny. When I had been concentrating on getting the larger ones the entire time and then put the wrong ones in my cart or in my on my wish list for my Christmas present. I'm gonna use my Lay Cotton from Chanel. This was a birthday gift from one of my subscribers, Debbie. Hey girl, hey. I use these so sparingly because I don't wanna run out. <laughs> It's sad when you have something nice like this and you're thinking, I don't want to run out, so I have to be careful how much I use them. Oh, you know what? I didn't put this thing back in there. Okay, we'll figure all that out in a bit. But let's put on some toner. Start our day off. Well, <laughs> it's almost one o'clock. I've just been sitting on the patio. I overdid it last night. See, look at that. This is a clean wash face, y'all. That's why you have to use a toner every now and then. This one's an unscented one. Is this vegan? Oh, it is, okay. <laughs> because I told y'all I wanted to use all vegan products eventually. I'm not, I'm not stressing out about it or anything. This isn't me proclaiming to be anything that I'm not. I just decided one day I wanna try to move towards that direction. Hi friends. Well, as you can see, I've made it to the floor in front of my beautiful closet. I'm still loving it so much. It just brings me joy when I look at it. And honestly, today at this moment, when I look around this room, I realize what a transformation this room has made since yesterday. You all can't see it. I didn't share any of it with you all because I wanted to just have that time to myself yesterday, but I worked my bum bum off from, I don't know, I guess about like noonish yesterday until about midnight. I think I did a 12 hour shift. I 
reorganize my husband's closet, trying to put his clothes and my clothes. And as you all know, the man got clothes, okay? And I got clothes with two fashionable people and to share a one bedroom apartment with one closet. I mean, it's a walk-in, but it's not a walk-in. You know what I mean? That was a tour all within itself. I brought some new storage items, which they're on either side of me. I'll show you all that probably a video at some point. I might share a little bit more of my bedroom. I share little bits and pieces of it, but again, there's some things that I don't know, I'm keeping more private now that my videos are going viral. <laughs> Which brings me to today's topic. You all have witnessed now me having somewhat of a very relaxing day. Today is Monday, Memorial Day. By the way, happy Memorial Day. I decided today that I was going to honor my 58 year old body. In doing that, I thought, you know what? I need to share this with my vlog, even though I am having a moment where I just wanna be in my own space right now. I also know the importance of me sharing certain things with you all because I know that it gives you all peace to know that you're not alone or maybe give you comfort in realizing that it is okay to do certain things like honor your body, honor your 30 year old body, honor your 25 year old body, honor your 60 year old body, honor your 70 year old body. Whatever body you have, it's important to honor it. Sometimes we get caught up in the hustle and bustle of life. We look at things like social media and we see that people are traveling here, traveling there, doing this and doing that. And everybody's busy having a chaotic life. And I think sometimes I know myself personally, I feel like I need to be doing this or I need to be doing that. I need to keep up. I stop to think about how important it is to just be still and relax and just allow the world to function around me, allow things to happen and I not be involved in it, allow myself to just be in my space, be okay with it. One of the things that my doctor shared with me at the beginning of me starting my chemo treatment, my oncologist, it's funny because when he said it, of course I haven't had any treatment yet. So I'm thinking, I got this. He mentioned to me that once I'm done with chemo and once all of this is said and done, you know, you're gonna be cancer free, you're gonna be living your best life but you're gonna find yourself sometimes where you just will get so tired that you basically feel like you have to just drop where you are. Like you just have to stop and catch a nap. And I thought, really, this girl? I've been running in circles all my life. What do you mean? I'm gonna feel like I need to sit down. He was right. I am almost four years out of being cancer free. It's really weird how it will hit me. I will be in the middle of having so much fun or doing something and all of us, my body tells me, okay girl, you need to take a nap, sit down, rest or something like whatever, but you need to stop and be still in the moment. I get reminded every once in a while, I am a cancer survivor. And it's funny because when I am in the midst of doing the things that I'm doing, my everyday life, going to work, last couple of weekends, we've traveled to go see family. I'm the youngest of my brother and my sister, but I have had probably the more in-depth health situation. My brother, like I said, has some health issues. I mean, no chemo has been involved and my sister has actually been very, very healthy. My body's gone through some things. Even more reason why it's so important that I honor my 58 year old self. I'm also honoring the 58 year old cancer survivor self. Even though we may be getting older or even if we're not in the 50s or we're in our 40s or our 30s, we may not have ever had any real sickness, but you just realize that some days you just wanna be, that you just wanna be still and you're maybe not feeling like you should because you're thinking about all the things that you should be doing. The kids need to be fed, the this and that. I'm not saying don't feed your kids, but what I'm saying is make sure you prioritize time for yourself. I don't have any time to take off work right now, but you all know if you watch any of my past videos when I worked at the university, I have plenty of time off and I use those times. I would call in a personal day in a minute and I would just sit at home on my bum bum and my PJs and just chill the heck out. And today, being that it's a three-day weekend, I thought, you know what? I'm going to do that today. I'm going to chill the heck out. I had my coffee on the patio this morning. I didn't share that with you all. Vasting in the moment. And then I decided, you know what? I am going to go ahead and pick up the camera. And I'm going to share me having my bubble bath. Figuring out the whole brow situation. <laughs> that was a joke. And then I decided to do my nails. I painted them a pretty color purple. I even painted my toenails. But my toes look really bad. There's a nail salon right across the street from me. They wanted $25 for just a basic manicure and 35 for a basic pedicure. And I'm used to paying 15 and 25. I was a little bit taken back <laughs> and I thought, hmm, 
maybe I need to make a little bit more money on YouTube before I can afford a petty and a manny. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. That's coming soon. That was part of what I wanted to do today in honoring myself was to go get a Manny and Petty. But I didn't want to spend the money today because I had a few other things that I wanted to get done. I wanted to get my mailbox situation taken care of. And I wanted to order me some coffee from Nespresso. And I did that. I haven't gotten the mailbox done yet, but I'm going to do it today, I think, at some point. So I thought, okay, well, Manny and Petty will have to come at another time. I have a wide range of age groups. I have attracted a lot of younger people to my channel. And because of that, I want to maintain some point of inspiration to them. So I don't want to just talk to people in my age group. I want to talk to the younger generation as well, because I do know that they're the ones that are sometimes in the midst of the hustle and bustle of life. Like they are raising children. Some of them are working two jobs. Some of them are battling all kinds of things. And they're living through social media, if you know what I mean. Like they're watching people on social media make every day look like heaven and make it look like you can get a million things done in one day, which we all know is not true. It's never been true and it will never be true. It's a fake, y'all. People don't do what you see in social media. That's why it's so important for my channel to be very real. I'm sitting here in a jean shirt that my friend Terry got for me from a thrift store because I like to wear a men oversized shirt. I still have some summer things in storage and I cannot wait to get my stuff together out of storage. That's another whole video. We're not going to talk about that right now because I'll get my blood pressure up. But um, then I was thinking, what can I put on that's going to be super comfortable? Because I don't foresee me leaving the house today. My husband should be home shortly and then we'll probably watch a movie or something and just relax here on the couch and have a very quiet Memorial Day evening. I like some time to just be cute sitting here at home and that's okay, but I'm getting off the track now. <laughs> Mainly, I think I just want to say to everybody, whatever it is that you need to honor within yourself, make sure that you honor those moments. Life will be okay without you running a marathon. You can do a little and allow that little to take you a longer way than trying to do everything and find yourself telling yourself short, if that makes sense. Be truthful. I kind of overdid it yesterday. I did have one of those moments last night at about 11.30 where my body said, okay, I'm shutting down. You can come with me or not, but I'm going to drop you on the floor if you don't. I pushed myself for probably about another 30 minutes because I wanted to finish getting my kitchen mopped and all that stuff. But yeah, I, I had a moment. It's not just a physical thing either. It's also a mental thing. I think life itself, sometimes you have to take a mental break. I knew yesterday, but some of this will be explained a little bit better on Friday's vlog, but I knew going into yesterday that I wanted to have a mental day and today. And then the work that I did yesterday caused me to have a physical. So I ended up having a mental and a physical day today and I'm enjoying it. I'm just loving it. I'm just going to enjoy the rest of my day probably will take a nap yeah <laughs> this is such an impromptu video but i wanted you all to see this is what a real holiday monday would look like for me on any given holiday that i have a three-day weekend i don't always have tons of things to do i'm not always running the streets i'm not always out shopping i'm not always making that perfect video so that it looks like my life is just perfect i'm just a person. I'm a 58 year old woman and I have decided to share my life online. I want my life to be actually what my real life is. I don't show you everything, obviously, for reasons you don't even have to ask. I'm just regular. There's no extras to me. I'm not special in any way. I have good days. I have bad days. I'm just me. If you made it this far, you have truly been a trooper and I hope you will allow me to continue to come into your home and come into your life by hitting that subscribe button, turning on the notification bell, and giving this video a thumbs up. You are already subscribed to my channel. You know the love I feel for you. Bye-bye.